Most gardeners think soil revival takes months, but the real shock comes when a sleepy garden suddenly springs back to life after a simple kitchen ingredient hits the dirt. Not compost, not fertilizer, not some expensive amendment, just something sitting quietly in your pantry right now. And when put to the test, one of these everyday staples feeds soil microbes so quickly that gardeners see changes in texture, smell, and plant response in only a few days. Here at Crop Corner, we love the kind of experiment that flips what we think we know about soil on its head. Because when your soil's microbes wake up, everything changes. Plants grow stronger, nutrients become available, and even tired compacted soil starts behaving like something pulled from a thriving forest floor. That's the magic of this rice wheat flower showdown, and the results might just become your new secret weapon. So let's dive straight into the heart of this test and uncover which ingredient truly fuels your soil's biological engine the fastest. Why feeding microbes makes such a big difference. Behind every lush garden is an army of invisible workers, microbes. These tiny organisms break down organic matter, unlock nutrients, improve soil structure, and help roots access everything they need. When microbes are active, even weak plants suddenly perk up. When they're sluggish, fertilizer often goes to waste. That's why choosing the right microbial food matters. Carbohydrates are a quick fuel source, and pantry staples like rice, wheat, and flour each offer their own advantages. Rice brings simple starches. Wheat adds more complexity. Flour, being already finely ground, seems like it could be instantly accessible. But until recently, gardeners didn't have a clear answer on which one truly works fastest when mixed into soil. This experiment finally settled it. How the fair test was set up. To keep everything even, identical soil samples were used. No boosters, no compost, no nutrients, just soil and one added ingredient. Each mixture was moistened the same way, kept at the same temperature, and exposed to the same light. The only difference was the microbial food source. And if you want to repeat this at home, here's the exact formula used in the experiment. Mix two tablespoons of your chosen ingredient with one cup of non-chlorinated water. Stir until the mixture becomes a smooth slurry, then pour it evenly over two cups of soil. Gently blend it into the top layer and keep the soil moist, but never soggy. This ratio keeps microbes well-fed without suffocating them or creating anaerobic pockets. In other words, perfect conditions for microbial activity to explode. What happened in the first few days? The surprising part? You don't have to wait long to see changes. Within days, the differences between the treatments were obvious. The soil color began shifting. The texture softened. The smell took on that deep, earthy scent gardeners love. But one ingredient didn't just improve the soil, it transformed it. Flour absolutely dominated the experiment. Where rice and wheat brought mild to moderate improvement, flour acted like a microbial accelerant. The soil treated with flour darkened faster, softened sooner, and gained that crumbly living structure gardeners spend entire seasons trying to build. The earthy aroma became noticeably richer, signaling active biological processes happening beneath the surface. This wasn't a small edge, it was a landslide victory. So, why does flour work so fast? Well, it all comes down to accessibility. Microbes really thrive when their food source is easy to digest. Flour is already broken down into extremely fine particles, which means those microbes don't have to work through a tough protective grain layer like they do with rice or wheat. Every tiny particle of flour is just exposed and ready for microbial action. That instant access actually kicks off rapid reproduction. More microbes mean more nutrient cycling, better soil texture, and an overall faster awakening of the soil ecosystem. Now rice and wheat still work. They just take more time, because microbes have to break down the grain before they can really feast. Flour skips that step entirely. It's fast, accessible, and efficient. If you're ready to give your soil the same microbial jumpstart, the method is honestly simple and really beginner-friendly. Just mix two tablespoons of plain flour with one cup of non-chlorinated water. Stir it until it's smooth. Then, pour this mixture evenly over the soil and lightly scratch it into the top inch. You'll want to keep the area evenly moist for several days, but be sure to avoid oversaturating. Microbes love moisture, but they really hate mud. Within a week, you'll notice the soil beginning to feel more alive. Plants nearby might even show better color, stronger stems, and more stable growth as microbial activity improves nutrient availability. 
If your soil is extremely depleted, you can repeat this treatment every two weeks until you see clear improvement. The only rule here is moderation. Flour is food, not fertilizer. Too much can overwhelm the microbes temporarily or even create unwanted odors. Small, steady applications keep the system thriving without stress. The real beauty of this experiment is just how accessible it makes soil improvement. Gardeners often think they need specialized products, but sometimes the quickest solutions are already right in the kitchen. Flower's rapid effect actually proves that tiny, inexpensive interventions can create massive shifts in soil health. More microbial activity leads to better root growth, better nutrient delivery, better water retention, and just greater resilience overall. For gardeners preparing a new bed, reviving compacted soil, or boosting a heavy feeding crop, this flower method can really set the stage for a thriving season. It's fast, it's easy, and it harnesses the natural biology that already wants to work for your garden. Experiments like this really remind us that gardening is full of small discoveries that can change everything. Rice, wheat, and flour each have value, but honestly, flour's ability to activate soil life in just days is a game changer for anyone wanting fast, natural results. Just imagine what happens when you pair this method with compost mulch or long-term soil building strategies. This is really just the beginning of understanding how simple ingredients can awaken the soil beneath our feet. If this guide gave you a new tool to strengthen your garden and helped you understand your soil better, make sure you subscribe to Crop Corner leave a like and share this video with another gardener who needs a quick soil revival trick. Your support keeps these experiments coming and there's so much more ahead to explore.